so guys um you know this is one of our first times um you know be in light of recent events you know we had um you know the new variant coming out and all this and all that but i don't have to explain to you guys why we're working from home right now this is to everyone that's viewing this video right now for mythology right um yeah so we want to we want to you know we want to be as safe as possible and so send a message and so instead of meeting in person no like I, this is such a this is such a day old technique that a lot of people have been doing and doing just meeting in zoom basically class have been doing this so i think this is a strong implementation for right now until you know the situation sort of clears out but anyway um guys thank you for watching Mythology's writer of the month and today we're going to be having it on a zoom video because you know we all want to keep safe and you guys should probably do the same thing too until you know the numbers kind of go down and it's safe for all of us to go hang out and high five again right um so for today's for this month's writer of the month guys we have <clears throat> very special special guests okay and maybe you guys can introduce yourselves and the writer of the month uh, is I'm Lian Yu, a uh, 20 years old marketing management student, and I'm the youngest member of Shuriken, one of Motology's featured writer uh, group. Nice. Right. Shuriken, huh? It, it's got a nice little name to it, too. It's almost as if you're a ninja, almost, you know? Great choice of name. Uh, okay, and the ph photographer of the month is. Yes, I'm Lionel Pasinabo Jr. and I'm 26 years old. Uh, and my page is Cebu Riders page and I'm from Negros, Valermo, so Negros. Originally from Negros? Yes, sir. Yes, bro. I need to visit Negros soon, too. Um, so, you know, in terms of, I, I want to talk about gear a little bit, you know, and I always want to talk about gear. Um, what, what, what setup are you shooting with? when you shot the writer of the month or in general what what setup do you uh, normally like shooting with? my setup is i have my uh, no, nikon d35 d3500 uh to uncrop sensor camera and uh 55 300 millimeter lens uh telephoto lens d300 d3500 ah okay okay I thought you said D three hundred because that was one of my favorite cameras. I also like. I also own the Nikon D thirty three hundred, but that's yeah. Cool. You know, it's a beautiful camera. You know, I I, I like it's very handy, very handy camera. I think especially if you're shooting motorcycles, it's better to shoot with a crop camera. You know, because you have a longer range. You know, your fifty five millimeters becomes a seventy five millimeters. I mean, yeah. an eighty millimeter, right? And so your two hundred like. 200 millimeters becomes a 300 millimeters and that's fair. it's very useful when you're trying to get nice telephoto shots of the riding vehicles so what's what's um what what when you're shooting um say motorcycles what's your usual um setting for your camera uh for my finding shot i uh, use um i'm using a manual mode and then my radar speed is about one one sixty mm. one sixty mm. seconds, and then my aperture is f thirteen or something like that. But it depends on the on the light of the but yeah. It's because it's so and bright. My ISO, yeah, mm. and my ISO is one hundred. Yeah, that's it. It's so bright, so you need to bump up your... Yeah, I need to adjust my... Uh, okay. Well, so, I mean, what message do you have to the younger, uh, you know, um, photographers out there who shoot motorcycles too? My message, uh, my advice is just to keep shooting and then never compare your work to others. Yes. <laughs> I think that's 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 a very valuable advice, no? Yes. I because you know, um, I think photographers have this tendency to compare themselves and 
manaway ba, right? And that's yeah, what manaway. I realized going up. <laughs> that's the know? word, manaway. <laughs> yeah, and I, I always, I was this guy too. I mean, all the time, especially when I'm younger, you know, I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, man, what's his photo, dude? The aperture's all wrong, the aperture's too wide, whereas, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> or when you pixel peep, when you pixel peep, it, yeah, you know, it's, you shouldn't pixel peep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It makes no sense. Anyway, guys, <laughs> jumping right on to our writer of the month, man. How's it going, man? Yeah. You're a marketing, you're a marketing student? Yeah, from San Carlos. Nice, nice. Wow. I actually took um advertising arts there myself <laughs> for two years. <laughs> uh some time ago, right? So oh. um what's What's what got you into biking? Uh, what got me into biking was con the the feeling and my eagerness to learn more about it because since I was a kid, I don't know how to ride a bike. Oh, really? And when uh, <clears throat> when I started riding, yeah, when I started riding way back. 2018, on my first bike, Kawasaki RS200. It was tough riding on my first bike, especially I'm still new to motorcycles. Yeah. But even though I've encountered a couple of unfortunate events like accident, I am eager to learn more about it. And because of that, uh, bike, uh, there's something, some feeling like an unexplainable connection of some sort, like unlike riding a car, the adrenaline rush of riding a bike is unexplainable. Yeah, I, I, I definitely understand. That's there, there's nothing like, and there's never anything like the first time you ride it. You know, when you realize, damn, I could really, I could really control this vehicle. I could really maneuver yeah. this thing. You know. I think that's when you really become like a writer. Yeah, yeah. Which is why you're writer of the month. <laughs> so, um, would you mind walking <laughs> everyone through your setup? What's your current setup right now for your um biking necessities? What what's your let's let's start with a bike. What bike are you riding right now? Uh, I'm riding a CBR 2008 model, CBR 600 RR. And I'm using I'm using a racing suit, the custom suit, and boots, Danish boots, and I'm using the HJC R5 11 Carnage. I see that. that. I see that. A shout out to HJC. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> buys an HJC. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what, why 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 you choose the R5 11 over you know any other brands? Uh, I've as I've seen on the reviews, HJC is R511 is like uh, the aerodynamic is great and the uh, a lot of MotoGP riders are using it, especially in the sports bike. And I think it fit me when I use it. Yeah. Because a helmet really tells a lot of character about like a rider, right? I, I think it's one of yeah. those things, you know. It's like where it's like wearing a hat. It's like you you can't just wear any hat. That hat just to, it has to fit your look. It has to be feel comfortable. It's it just like a helmet. Like it has to feel like it's part of your body, right? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. Um. Anyway, guys, should I kept this short? And actually, what's your message out there to all the riders out there? Uh, as a rider, we should take into consideration not only the safety, but safety to everyone around us. And aside from investing proper safety gears, we should never let forget to pray for safety on the road and never go beyond one's limits. That's a, that's a fantastic way to learn. But, you know, it's funny because they say, you know, the, the one way to get better is to push your limits. But there is also a limit to pushing your limits. Yeah, yeah. Right. 
if, if you don't feel if you're not in the right state of mind maybe relax a little bit so when you ride you know you're clear-headed and you know you're as safe as possible and definitely the gear that you choose definitely is a big factor to how safe you are riding and it's not just how safe you are you know it's it's really the confidence it gives you while you're riding all right guys thank you so much for um giving us mythology your time and congratulations for being a writer of the month um can't wait to see you guys in person have a good day guys and everyone watching guys remember ride safely guys okay there's nothing more important than your body and your head and your heart keep it all in one place all right guys have a good night guys bye bye thank bye -bye. you bye thank you so much thank you thank you bro